Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a different sort of review for you all. It's actually on clip-in hair extensions. Now I know a lot of you may still be transitioning or you're just simply looking for ways to switch up your style without anything too drastic. So this is going to be a really fun tutorial. I'm going to show you all how I achieved this big luscious hair with clip-in hair extensions. Now Big Chop Hair was kind enough to send me two bundles of 24 inch corkscrew curls and that is a whole lot of hair. These extensions already come with the clip-ins sewn in so it's super easy to apply them to your hair. Now when I first received all of this hair it was actually dark brown so I just went to Walgreens and purchased a box dye um, to dye them black so it would match my natural hair color. It took really well to the dye, I then just washed it and conditioned it normally. These clip-in extensions are 100% human hair, so you do have to treat it like you would your own hair. Condition on the regular to keep those curls intact. Of course there's lots of different methods to how you can style clip-in extensions, but I'm just going to show you all the one I used. I paired off the clips by size, grouping all the larges together and all the small ones together. When applying clip-ins, you want it to look as natural as possible. I used the large clips for the back of my hair and then worked in the small clips towards the front of my hair. Now the curl pattern on these clip-ins is slightly looser than my natural hair texture, so I decided to put my hair in two strand twists because I think it will just blend a whole lot better with these clip-ins. To start, I created a U part in the back of my hair and this is where I'm going to add the largest clips. You should always leave out some hair to try and blend over the clips. Now as I worked my way towards the front of my hair, I worried a lot less about parting my hair and just simply applied the small clips where I felt I needed them. I absolutely loved how these look in my hair, but I did feel that they looked slightly too long and I wanted to make it look as natural as possible, so I took the liberty of trimming the ends. You can also easily style these by using a bobby pin and clipping up a section of your hair to give it a cute little hairstyle. I then used a wide tooth comb to brush out the ends of these extensions to sort of give it a more frizzier look. That is how I achieved this big luscious hairstyle with clip-in extensions. You can leave them in for as long as you want. I personally would not leave them to sleep. I think you should always just reapply them in the morning, but I do see how that can be a hassle. But just be careful that it doesn't tug at your hair. You must always take care of your natural hair underneath any sort of extensions. Don't forget to check the description box so that you can see all the links to where you can buy some clip-in extensions like these. You can also use my promo code to get free shipping! All the contact information is below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all found this tutorial helpful. Let me know if you decide to try it out. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you can stay up to date with all the latest hairstyles. I will see you all in the next one.